start again. So let's Welcome everyone to Pivotal Stats, where we talk about data analysis techniques, business intelligence platforms, and much, much more. So let's go. Hey everyone. So this is the final part of the VBA loop series, where I will show you how you can use do until and do while to loop through range using certain conditions. We will also see the basic difference between the two looping techniques and how we can use either one of them interchangeably. Let's go. So to start off, the video let's understand the difference between uh, both of them which is do until and do while so the main difference between the two is when you talk about do until right as the name suggests it will run the loop until a certain condition is met so for example you want to add one to a variable until the total sum of value in that variable is five right similarly in do while this will run the loop while a certain condition is true. So for example, keep running the loop and add one to the variable while the sum of variable is less than or equal to five. So if you observe in both the loop techniques, we are achieving the same objective. Now let's see a live example and use these techniques to update values in a range. So now here in range A2 to A13, I have numbers from 1 to 12. Okay. In the next column, I need to enter OK wherever I have values in column A. And I'm going to do this using both do until and do while techniques. Okay. With a slight modification in the code. Get into the VB editor by pressing Alt plus F11. And if you have not inserted a module, insert a module by clicking on insert and module. Okay. Once done, let's write our first code. Uh, I'm going to write a, a sub-procedure for the do until loop. Give it any name you like. I'm going to write it as do uh, loop do until just to make it a bit more clearer. The first thing that you need to do while writing a do loop is to initiate a variable. I'm going to write i is equal to 2 because if you see in the Excel file, the first item of the first value is in row number 2. So that's why I'm, write, I'm writing i is equal to 2. Then the do until syntax is do until sheet one dot cells i comma one dot value is equal to double quotes double quotes this signifies a blank and the do until loop ends with the statement of loop okay however one small piece of code which usually the beginners forget to enter might result in excel crashing is to increment the variable so to increment the variable you just have to write i is equal to i plus one okay and then you just have to write the actual task that you need to do so sheet one dot cells i comma two dot value is equal to okay now if i explain this code to you what I'm doing is I'm simply saying run the loop until sheet one dot cells. Now cells is something similar to a range that we you have written in previous videos. But the only difference is in range we give it a direct reference of or the address of the cell, right? But in cells, we're doing the same thing. We're giving it a reference, but in terms of rows and columns within cells, the parameters that we use is First one is the row and the second one is the column. So the row that we need to refer to is I because this is what we are incrementing and column is one because we are checking column A. So one and we're saying run the loop until rows in column A or the value in column A is equal to blank. Okay. Until you find a blank run the loop with this line we are increment the variable value to by one so whenever the loop runs every time the value of the variable gets incremented by one and uh, once the loop starts running it will insert the value of ok into column two which is b column for do until loop okay in this column now let me just resize this window just to let you see what's happening and i'm going to run this piece of code it ran the loop until it found a blank and then stopped similarly you can achieve this same 
thing with do while loop as well with a small change of code okay and let me show you how so let me create a new sub procedure loop do while similar to the above i'm going to initiate a variable but this time the statement is do while sheet one dot cells i comma one dot value not equal to blank okay and i'm gonna explain this as well just give me a second i'm gonna end the while loop by writing the loop statement and i'm gonna increment the variable i by one now the statement goes like this sheet one dot cell i comma three because this time we need to update the value in column c so the third column dot value is equal to okay now let me resize this window again now i have resized the window and let's see how this code will run so running this code piece of code now and if you see what it did was it ran the code and it's telling excel to run the loop while the range in column a is not blank the moment it found a blank it stopped the loop so as you see both of the techniques can be used interchangeably with just a change in piece of code and it's up to your discretion which type of loop technique you prefer to prefer to use for achieving your objective so that is it this marks the end of the final video of the loop series let me know in the comment section if you like this content and do remember to subscribe to the channel thank you so much see you in the next one